my name is Richard Petas. I'm 40 and uh, at the moment living here in Grahamstown in Sunnyside. When I was a very small child, I thought that it would be very nice to be a game ranger, which I guess is the classic middle class white fantasy in Africa, because I thought I wouldn't have to be in, a, in an office and I wouldn't have to, uh, you know, deal with all of that stuff, would be outside and be free. But, you know, I was growing up in the 1970s and 1980s, so certainly by the early 1980s, um, I was very much aware of, uh, of what was happening in society and so on, and uh, I thought I would like to make some kind of positive contribution. I, went, I thought for a while that I would like to be a human rights lawyer until I did Legal Studies 1, and I realized that I just found that it insufferably boring. From around 2004, there was a real upsurge in popular protest in South Africa, all over South Africa. In March 2005, um, on a Saturday, there was a big protest like that in Durban. Um, uh, about 800 people blocked a, a major road, a six-lane road, um, in a place called Clare Estate in Durban, and it was reported on in the Sunday newspapers. It was kind of a headline story. So I just went to see who those people were, to, to meet them and to try and find out what was going on. I wasn't looking you know, to get involved in a movement, I just wanted to meet those people and see what was happening in my country. Um, and I did, I met them um, and I started working with some people in that place, it was a shack settlement called Kennedy Road. The first project was to get those people out of jail, which we did, and then I carried on working with them. And that was in March, and Abishlali was only formed in October. Um, so I was there, and I was one of the people that formed the movement. It's affected my life in many ways. Um, I wouldn't be here in Grahamstown if it wasn't for that, because uh, I was forced out of my job in Durban as a direct result of that involvement. It's totally changed my understanding of, of politics. It's totally changed my understanding of civil society, ordinary people. Um, getting together, discussing the situation they confront and deciding what to do about it. Popular bottom-up democracy is perfectly possible and it happens. I like teaching. Um, it's something I kind of fell into. It's not something that I ever thought of doing as a kind of job. But I do like it. I like the interaction with the students. I like the energy that sometimes young people bring into the classroom. I mean, I think the academic life is a very privileged life. Um, you know, you actually get paid to think and to read books and to think about society. And certainly here in Grahamstown, anyway, you can do so with, uh, with quite a lot of freedom. I mean, I can read or write about anything I like, and that's very nice. I'm certainly not doing any of the things I thought I would like to do as a child. Um, but, you know, thank God.